Hello there. In this part of the lecture, we are going to learn about that how to implement infinite scrolling in React. Well, infinite scrolling loads more data as the user scrolls down the website. Instead of using the pagination method of getting the data, we use this infinite scrolling to make the UI and the user experience much better. Well, it is commonly used in the apps like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So we are going to implement that in this particular lecture also. So let's see that how we can implement infinite scrolling in our Visual Studio Code. Let's start. So we are on our Visual Studio Code and now we are going to start the whole process. So initially we are going to create few use state that is const items comma set items equals to use state bracket and put a blank array inside of it right now const we are going to put a loading also like every time when the data is going to load so the amount uh, of time which uh, take to load the data at that time we will show a loader so for that we are going to put a use state that is loading and we put a boolean value inside of it comma set loading equals to use state and make it false initially right now what we do we will create a const loader equals to use ref bracket and keep it null fine now we have done three different things fine now coming forward and now what we are going to do we are going to put a function which is actually will be used to fetch the data right so for that what we are going to do we will write const fetch items equals to create a arrow function and keep it asynchronous that is async put a bracket then arrow and yeah like this after this put set loading sorry set loading as true and then what we do we will write const response equals to await fetch and inside of this what we do we will write our api so i'm having an api here you can use your own api or you can copy this api if you want just to practice the thing you can see just copy this line of code line sorry this particular route let's copy it out and put it inside this annotation marks right now after this i will close this bracket and then moving forward and after when the i will get this particular response i will do what i will convert it into the json format so for that cons data equals to await response dot json fine now after this set items set items in our set item what we will do we will say that whatever the previous whatever the previous data that your set item have already initially it is having a, a blank array right but we are going to use this fetch item function many times so in the first time it will do what it will input some of the data inside of it now after that when you again activate this particular function then what it will do it will add on some more data to this particular items so for that what we are going to do we are just doing the set items that is using the making the use of use state and we'll say that take out all the previous data and then add on the data that you have currently is retrieved from this particular function right now coming forward and now we will say that set loading as false now try to understand this particular function completely i think it is uh, already visible to you right but let me explain you more that whenever this particular function will be called this fetch items it will do what it will put the set loading loading as true which is indicating that the data is now going to be loaded 
for that time this loading part is not true then the loading process has now started with the help of the fetch function right inside of this i have given my api now after that uh, this particular data whatever being stored inside this re response is now converted into the json format and that is stored inside this data variable now after that i am putting every information inside this items right with the help of the set item and adding this data to the previous data whichever the data which is stored inside this item right and after that when this whole process is completed i am making the set loading as false means the data is not retrieved data is not got so you uh, the loading process is now ended fine so we are putting this set loading as false now okay fine i hope you understood the concept very clearly now coming forward to our use effect in our use effect what we will do we will first create a function here and i will say fetch item means call this particular function call this particular function when whenever the page changes now what is this page well we have not created till now but you need to see here this is what this is your api right this whole is part is your api and inside of it you can see this particular section this is your page right so where we are getting this page well we are going to create a use state for that we are going to create a use state that is const page and page will be page comma set page right yeah and we will say equals to and then we will say that uh, we will create a use state and inside of this we are going to write one means the initial value that the page will have is one and remove this annotation and put a back tick here fine you can see now what this particular thing is doing it is actually taking the page number from your use state it means at this time it is having the page equals to one right so the first page data will come and it will be stored after that whenever this value of page will change again this particular function will run let's say the page value is now become two so when since the value is not changed so what will happen it will again call this function and when this con function is called now this time the page is equals to two so it will fetch the information of the dot of from the api where the data is coming from the second page that is page number two from this now the page is equals to two right so what we have to do we have to add the dependency as page fine yeah now i hope that you got the concept till now now coming forward now this is the most 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 important part uh i'll say that there's not much needed to go inside or the depth of this particular function you just need to look that how it is uh, being written and how it is working right so we are going to make a setup of the of the intersection observer which will detect and uh, check that whether the data is uh, present or you have scrolled down to the website or not fine so just look that how i am writing this part portion that is use effect use effect and then we will put a bracket inside of this i'll say a curly bracket and inside this curly bracket i will say const observer equals to new intersection observer you have to call this method right intersection observer and then put a bracket here and inside of this i am going to write entries entries you just keep writing i will explain you later right and then i'll say that if if entries of index 0 is intersecting in that case and other other condition as it is not loading in that particular case you put the set page set page whatever the value that the page is already having that is page as sorry not page let's name it previous as previous plus one fine you have to do this till now 
and after that when your this particular entries function like the main for, uh, function when this will end you have to put the threshold as one so threshold as one right now just close this particular uh, portion from here to this one right yeah the intersection observer is now closed now what you need to do is that you have to check that whether the loader loader is what loader is this right so you need to check that whether the lo loader is uh, running or not so for that if loader dot current is true in that case what you have to do is observer dot observe and bracket loader dot current fine just keep looking at the code don't uh, get very panicked that what is happening and how it is working what happened here okay fine now after this when you have checked this portion that whether the loader is uh, working or not uh, after that what we will do we will say that return create a function here and if the loader dot current observe it means observer sorry observer observer dot unobserve loader dot current fine fine now after this what we will do we will say that since it uh, like this portion is completed now whenever when this use uh, this whole portion is called whenever our loader is changed i mean the loading value is changed right the dependency is your loading fine so this is your main function which will help you to create the whole infinite scrolling work you can see here now right yeah so now let's understand that how this particular function is working so your intersection observer what it is doing it is actually watching that the element in loader like it watches the element in the loader and then your entries zero dot intersecting and is loading what it is doing like you your this portion like your this portion it means the element is visible in viewport and your this portion that you are setting the page as previous to previous plus one it means that to add a one more page like add one on the page which is triggering the api call right and then the threshold one it means that 100 percent of the element must be visible to the trigger fine now coming forward to your loader dot current and then observer dot observe loader dot current well it begins observing the loader div and when the loader div is visible observer will run the callback fine observer will run the callback after that loader dot current uh, this portion sorry uh, not this what i was doing yeah this one fine now after this we are going to return right so what we are returning well after uh, this whole line of code now what it is happening that it removes the observer when the component amounts or the loading changes right uh, this prevents the duplicate observer or the memory leak so as i told you that there is not much a need to memorize this you can simply get the code uh, from your ai or on the internet fine so just you need to look like write down this code and use it fine and in the end we are putting this loading as a dependency now coming to the front end part and this is the code this is the front end part now what we have done here we have put a heading which is saying infinite scroll demo right and then we are putting a curly bracket to add on the javascript part instead of this we are using this items what is this item well this item is this you can see this is that item which is storing a array now initially it is blank but after every time when you 
make the fetch item initiated right it will fetch the data and will keep transferring the in whatever the data it will store inside this array right yeah i have told this multiple times now after that we are doing the mapping of that particular array and i am saying that i am having a div and that the key of the div is item.id we are putting some of the styling as that padding should be 10 pixel the border bottom should be one pixel of like length and the solid gray color right your border and of the bottom and then the element which will be shown will be items.title right why title well it is from the api when you fetch this particular api into the console you will see that uh, the title is holding all the information right we are uh, fetching all the only the title part to show right after that after cl uh, closing this particular portion we have uh, done this which is showing that if the loading is true in that case you show this paragraph which is loading mode instead of using this paragraph you can also use your own loader whatever you want either a video or gif anything right and after this we are having this diff which is acting as a reference and which is uh, initiating this usref of loader and then we have put this style as height of 20 pixel and done now let's go to our website and see that whether it is working or not so let's go so you can see here when i am reloading it is showing me the infinite scroll demo and some of the data here you can see the length of the scroll right so taking it down now you observe when i take it down you can see at the end i'm uh, watching a load more and the more data get loaded and the length of the scroll down portion is now shortened right when you scroll more you can see more data got loaded right so initially it was having less data but now every time you when you scroll down it will load you more data for you right so this is how it is working i hope you understood the concept right uh, the main part was this this whole part well i'm telling you again that you need not to go into the depth of how it is working you just need to copy the code and it will work as the same you just need to maintain the functionalities of fetch item and use effect like this the way i have done it and put the front end part this like this right well it is depend on you that how you want to create the front end but this is how it works fine so i hope you understood the concept very clearly uh, this is all for today's video i hope that if you like then you will like and subscribe the channel uh, we'll meet in the next video very soon with the with the fresh new topic till then goodbye